Hey guys, Kevin from Rides Forums here. Hope you've all been doing well. What I'd like to do in this video is talk about a subject that I think all content creators have to deal with it at one point or another, and it's trolls, online trolls. It's something that everyone experiences. Even people who don't create content on the web get trolled sometimes, you know, it's, it's, um, it is a problem. It's funny because when you look at two people arguing on the internet, they kind of look like two crazy people. When, you know, you see people on Reddit or you see them on a forum and they're arguing and they're going back and forth and they're being offensive and, and they're going back and forth like that. The two of them look kind of crazy. Like, no one really comes out well. The thing is, we've all been in that bubble. We've all been in the middle of that. And we know what it feels when someone starts pushing your buttons. Now, I've ran internet forums since around 2001, I think, was the first time I launched a forum. So... I've seen my fair share of arguments online. Um, I've been there where I've had to kind of mediate it and try and calm people down and try, you know, I've had to ban people. I've had to put rules in place so these things didn't happen. And it is quite a serious problem. Like, as a forum owner, or even if you're part of a, a community where you participate a lot, people who start arguments a lot are quite um, argumentative or quite offensive. They can be quite a big uh, problem for the community because they can drive away good members and they can really irritate people who you know are really are contributing contributing to the community uh, and I see this myself in forums too you know I had a problem recently where people were arguing and there's a few ways you can handle this you, you don't want to be too heavy and ban lots of people and you don't want to be too light because it just becomes anarchy so if you own a community, you kind of need to deal with this. You know, you need to put rules in place. And I'd probably lean more towards, if you can, if it is heavily moderated, to try and, you know, put rules in place so that that kind of behaviour isn't acceptable. But I don't really want to talk about forums. I want to talk about more about content creators. So when now I'm talking about uh, writers, I'm talking about bloggers, I'm talking about YouTubers, I'm talking about people who put a lot of energy into things and they're getting trolled online. I mean, this is probably applicable too if you're any kind of artist, like a musician, anything where you're creating something and you're putting it out into the internet and unfortunately, all the comments you receive aren't going to be positive. And I think you do need to be thick-skinned about this, but I just wanted to talk about what the best way to handle it is. So, I've experienced this a lot. Um, you know, as a blogger, you get it a lot. Those of you who own blogs, well, you just have to deal with this all the time. Most of the articles that I've written on my blog over the years, um, many years, yeah, 11, 12 years of active blogging, most of them have been either reviews or tutorials. Generally speaking, those kind of articles don't attract trolls. <clears throat> the people who arrive at the article are either readers um, you know, followers of your blog or the people who have found um, an answer to a problem. So they've came to your article, to your blog, because they were looking for a solution to a problem. And if you have written a good article and put some research into, you know, making a good tutorial, then chances are that people are going to be thankful. And even when they disagree with you, the vast majority of people are nice and say, thanks for the tutorial, but I might disagree with you on this part, this part, this part. But... Not everyone is like that. By and large, you know, you know, you're going to attract certain people. It's just a numbers game. You will get people who arrive on your article uh, who just don't care. They just don't care what you think. And a lot of the people just was it the same Batman? Some people, uh, Michael Caine says they just want to see the world burn. And that's kind of what trolls do. They try and push people's buttons. They're not trying to contribute anything positive. Now, if you wrote the article, chances are you are the blog owner or you've written it for another blog and you might have moderating you know, functionality, you might have the permission to moderate comments on your article. So how do you handle them? Well, it kind of depends on the severity of the comment. It depends on the type of trolling as well. If anyone says anything racist or you know anything that's really bigoted, I just delete them. I mark it as spam, I delete them and I don't even bother even entertaining them. A lot of trolls are a little bit sneaky. What they'll do is they'll just try and 
rather than being out front with them being critical of what you're doing, they'll try and just try and make a little cheeky comment that's maybe disguised as maybe a positive comment, maybe a negative comment, but really all they want to do is just stir things up. And those things are, you know, those kind of people are a little bit um, different. I think the best way to handle those particular people are ignore them. It really is. The best way to ignore those people is just ignore them. All they're, they're looking for is, you know, someone to bite. They're looking for someone to bite, that's it. Um, then you'll get the people who just di disagree with your point of view. And, you know, some people can be... There's nothing wrong with someone disagreeing with you. Some people can be quite respectful and explain why they disagree with you. But some people are quite horrible as well. I've had people that have, you know just went on a tirade, they've started went on a personal attacks on me because they disagreed with what I said. And this wasn't even religion or politics or anything like that that, would normally, you know, that normally pushes people's buttons. And it's, it's kind of difficult. I mean, I've got involved in these discussions and even though you try not to you know, get involved in it, you don't want to get in that bubble, it is kind of hard sometimes. You do kind of fall into the trap and then... Um, you know, you do start arguing with the person. I think as a content creator, someone who spends a lot of time creating content, whether it be articles or videos, it's hard not to take it personally with things like that. So I think, you know, when someone criticises you, it, it sometimes it does perhaps hurt you. You know, perhaps, you know, if you write, you spend days writing an article and you're really, really proud of it and then someone just comes on and just shits on everything you did. It, it is, it's hard not to take it personally. I think over the years, the more you produce content, the more you produce articles and videos, you've become more thick-skinned about this and you just think, who cares? Now, again, one way to do it would be, um, you know, if someone comes on and they, and they take a, the opposite kind of point of view of you, I think if they're being offensive, I would lean towards being either ignoring them or simply deleting the comment. It depends, I mean, it, it depends on the comment itself. It isn't really black and white. But if someone's been very, very offensive in a comment, a big long comment to me and just being really, really offensive, I take great pleasure in just simply clicking the delete button. I'm happy about the fact that they spent half an hour writing this offensive comment to me and it took me half a second to delete it. You might not agree with that, but personally, regardless of whether someone has a conflicting point of view to me, and I really do enjoy discussion about you know the things that I talk about on articles and, and videos on in my you know in Rise forums. But if someone takes the point away and just starts being, you know, starts saying, Oh, you're stupid, are you stupid, are you blah blah blah, just delete the comment. If you've got if you if it's your blog and someone someone is saying those kind of things to you, you don't have to stand for that, just delete their comment. I, I do take great pleasure in doing that. I will delete their comment even if it took them half an hour to write. I don't care. When I spend all that time writing something, producing something, then I, I mean I don't need. I don't think anyone um, needs to take that. They really don't need to take that. Um, now, if someone, it, I mean I think it's a, if someone has got a completely opposite point of view, then hopefully you can have a healthy discussion. You can try and put your points across and then it might ultimately end with the both of you saying, well, you know, we'll have to agree to disagree. That's not a problem. You know, I'm not saying that if someone disagrees with you that you should just delete or ignore them. I'm talking about the really, really nasty people, the people that forget about what the point is and they're just, you know, making it personal and just attacking you. When your blog becomes more popular or... It becomes obviously that moderation becomes a little bit more difficult because the volume of comments increases. It's probably less of a problem now because blogs don't receive as many comments as they used to. But again, I think the same principle, you know, um, really stands here. If someone is just trying to get someone to bite, ignore them or delete them. Mark it as spam. If someone's being racist, delete it. If someone has got a conflicting point of view, that's okay. But if they start to be nasty about it. I would just delete their comment. I mean, some people would say, oh, you know, you're, you're overusing your powers. I don't care. I'm paying for the hosting. I'm spending all the time writing the articles. I'm not going to sit around and let someone abuse me on my own website for no reason at all. Now, YouTube is a whole different story because, well, 
well, for starters, YouTube is is the 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 size of the platform. The thing about with your blog, as I said, is that generally speaking, the people that come to your blog are looking for that particular topic. So if you write a tutorial about a WordPress plugin about how to use it correctly, most of the people that go there are looking for something to do with that WordPress plugin or something similar. So the traffic is quite targeted. So the people leaving comments are quite targeted. You're not going to get people leaving comments that you know that have got nothing to do with WordPress. Generally speaking, everyone who's leaving a comment is involved in WordPress or you know whatever the topic may be. But on YouTube, I mean, you, the, the YouTube is just notorious for trolls. It's just insane. Um, I think it's just the nature of YouTube. I mean, it's it's the it's why YouTube is so fantastic as well. You start off looking at you know a a football game, and then you end up looking at some sort of documentary, and then you end up on rocket science, and then you end up on a history thing, and you just the way it works, you just keep going round and round and round. Um, but it's different on YouTube as well because the traffic isn't as targeted. When you've got people coming to your video that don't really care about what you're talking about, the chances are you're going to get more trolls. I don't know what it is about YouTube, but the number of comments you get from people that just say things like, gay, or you asshole, or blah, 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 or you're an idiot, blah, blah, blah. I've got that myself. I've, I've got some videos where I've did tutorials or I've did tests on, on my YouTube channel, and the 90% of comments are, great video, or thanks, that's really helped me, or thanks, I disagree with you on this bit, but I appreciate it, blah, blah, blah. And you'll still get the ten percent, or you know whatever the percent is. You'll get a small percentage of people who just don't care, and they'll do nothing but abuse you. But I think the best way to handle that is kind of similar to the blog. You know, if someone's been offensive, I'll just delete them. I'll just mark it as spam. I'm not going to take that. The problem with YouTube is if you your video or your you know your channel reaches the point where it's really, really, really successful. The absolute volume of comments that a video can receive is ridiculous. I've, there's videos on there with tens of thousands of comments, and you really just can't moderate those number of comments. You really can't. And when a video reaches that level of comments, and a small percentage of those are, you know, perhaps racist or spam or or offensive, or they're just simply trolling, just trying to get a rise out of either you or other people who are talking in the community then I would say the best thing is to do it is ignore them. You really can't you really can't moderate that kind of level of discussion on your own. You really can't. And it's kind of pointless either. If all those people want to be idiots and just go in the comment area and just attack each other, then let them. Nothing's really, you know, going to change. Again, what I touched upon earlier, I think if you are a content creator, if you are spending a lot of energy creating content and then someone you know just shits on you for no reason at all it's hard not to get upset in the beginning um, and I don't think people who troll really do appreciate the work that goes into producing certain types of content like even today I like most of the time the videos that I produce most of the time things go okay I had a little simple video today and it was very very easy to produce it was like a little audio test I was comparing two microphones and just nothing went wrong. Um, wrong. Nothing went right. I can't even get things right in this video. Um, nothing went right. I started off. I misspoke a few times. I re-recorded it. Um, I finally got like fifteen minutes of footage. I went down to my laptop and I found that my microphone hadn't been switched on. I also noticed that for some reason the color correction was wrong in the video. So what I was left was the audio wasn't right in half of it. And the second half, the colour wasn't right, so it was like, it looked like it was an angel because it was all white in the background. So I had to re-record it again, and then there was another point where I, you know, I stopped recording by accident during that time. It, it's just, these things happen sometimes, you, you just have a day where everything goes wrong. And the end result might be a video where it just looks like an easy video produced, but I might have spent hours on it. And despite me spending a lot of time on it, a lot of work on it, I think most people will say that video, thanks, interesting test, blah, blah, blah. But you will get some people come on, terrible, too long, or too short, or this or that, and they'll just complain. And I do think you need to be thick-skinned about this. I don't think you need to get too worked up about it. Um, at the end of the day, the internet is still the Wild West. If you put your content online, you don't know how it's going to be uh, perceived. You don't know who is actually going to view it 
read it or whatever, and you really are putting it out there for others to judge what you were doing. Most people are nice people, and even if they don't like what you did, they would just go elsewhere. But you do get a small percentage of people who are just looking to nip at people and um, annoy people. I'm sure you guys have all dealt with this before, uh, and I might have been, you know, just talking, uh, just kind of reinforcing what you already know. But generally speaking, I would say don't let these things upset you. As the old saying goes, do not feed the troll. Um, you know, if someone is trying to be sneaky and just trying to get sneaky and put little sarcastic remarks, just ignore them. People are being racist, bigoted, delete them. But if someone's starting to do personal attacks and it's on your own website, just delete them. I, I don't I don't think anyone should have to sit, especially on your own website, you know, when you're paying for hosting and producing all the content. If someone is really going on a personal attack, just delete it. There really there really is no point in getting into that bubble and getting involved in a heated exchange. It's just not worth your time. You really do need need to rise above it. As you get older and as you get more experience of these things, you do realise not to take these things too personally. There's always going to be people who disagree with what you say. Day-to-day -day life, when you're walking around with your friends and whatever at work, you don't really come across these people too much because, you know, people work in tribes, they, you know, they go and people, they hang around with people that have similar interests. But when you put it online, you put it out to the whole world, people have completely different viewpoints on you, about you, um, what you believe in, what you think a certain uh, issue should be or should not be or political or not political or technical or reviews and I'll say a camera is amazing, someone else will say it's terrible, that kind of thing. Don't worry about it too much. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. I'd love to hear some funny stories about, you know, trolls that you've had. Um, I've had a few heated discussions with people in the past. I try not to get involved in that anymore and I don't let things like that really bother me too much. So... Yeah, I'd love to hear what you think, guys. Please do leave a comment below or on Rise Forums and keep on creating good content. You know, I don't think this is something that should really dissuade you from producing content. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep producing good content. Keep writing good articles. Keep producing good videos and keep doing what you're doing and you'll get to where you want to be. Don't let these people who are just, you know, quite negative people that just want to criticise other people for no reason at all, trolls and generally idiots, um, and again, there's no problem with someone having an opposite viewpoint from you, and sometimes it's healthy because it's a good way of learning, but don't let people abuse you, and at the end of the day, ignore them, there's more important things in life to worry about. Thanks for watching guys, until next time, take care.